In this video, we will continue to program our driver by dealing with commands and responses that are truly custom, but will pass through our driver to talk to the device. We will be dealing with the poll command that returns a string with multiple data points. We will also take care of the fully custom interaction involving the programmer name request and confirmation that the challenge has been won. In simple windows, we have added our digital signals for poll projector and name response pulse on the touch panel. Our serial I.O. has been expanded to include another named custom command and on the receive side is set up to provide a pulse based on receipt of the word enter. RxOut is an output from the driver's display Ethernet module and will also be routed to the touch panel to display the received strings from the device. Finally, a serial send is included to provide a complete custom string direct to the transport in our driver through custom command in. Unlike custom command by name, command in will be direct to the transport of the driver and not through the prepare string then send method. One addition to the transport class of enable rx out equals true will enable the serial output from the simple module. And in our JSON file, poll data is also added to our custom commands. Our poll response contains data involving the error, the native resolution of the projector, as well as the lamp hours. We can extend our existing code to further search for this response. Without adding too much to the code, our command group gets set to the command group type of other, and we set a custom command group of poll response. When validate data is returned from this method, the framework calls a method called choose deconstruct method. We can override this method and provide our own custom selection process. We now have two strings, one that contains the lamp hours response and one that contains the remaining data. We can now manually call the lamp hours deconstruct method. This will, of course, call our overridden lamp hours deconstruct method. Anything that falls outside of our custom responses will be processed as normal. Testing the code as is shows for non-custom commands, the framework is deciding which deconstruct method to use. In case of our poll response, we see the remaining data sent to the log and the lamp hours being processed. Once we have send a power on, power off, and one of either lamp hours or poll command, we see the response of enter first and last name. Our simple Windows logic immediately responds with the truly custom command through our driver, with the projector responding that the student has won the challenge. 
In our next video, we will complete our driver creation with a look at continuous polling for device status. Thanks for watching.